morning guys. Good morning. Um, oh, sadly, we're on day 10. It was a booby prize. We actually have one more day. The, the list, this last day is tomorrow. <laughs> I am on top of the world. <laughs> no, just on top of a roof. At the Flaming Lily Terrace, thank you so much, family friend. You're amazing. Uh, I wanted to sing a song. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I thought about it every now and then. Spread my wings and fly again. I believe I can soar. See me running through that open door. I believe I can fly. I can fly. I believe I can fly. I can fly, I believe I can fly. Have a great day, Grahamstown. Have a great day, Port Alfred. Have a great day, Alberton. I love you all. Fun days, climbing and abseiling. So, monologue madness. Hopefully you're watching this. Um, don't do that at home. Okay, I know your mom. Cheers, bros. You must meet a good friend of mine. <laughs> He's laughing. Can I meet? Can I introduce you to the guys? No, thank you. Okay, that's fine. So, his name is Bob, but he does amazing paintings. So, uh, not yet. So I'm going to be live streaming in... Probably it's half an hour. So if you're watching this already, which you'll be watching it tomorrow, because they do watch it the next day. So have some fun, guys. Go check out Bob's art. Can I introduce you to a friend of mine called Jennifer? Could you, can I introduce you to them? Cool, this is Jen. She's really cool. Hello. <laughs> she does a brilliant paintings here at the Steve Biko Building Gallery. If you missed it, you still have got one day. So come by. Thanks, Jen. And this is the lovely Laura. She's got a cool son called Raven. Can I introduce you to them? Yeah. Cool, this is Laura. Hey there. <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> what do you do, Laura? Pictures. We do paintings, do sketches. Cool. So awesome. you're doing that right now? Yeah, well, at least I'm going to finish. That's awesome. And uh, then I got some friends to do. Cool. Oh, you've brought your own mounting board. Yeah. Do you have this cutter? Do you cut it out yourself? No, I don't actually. Um, it's beautiful. I used to cut my own mounts when I was in my gallery in Wall Street. Nice. And then obviously moving to home and stuff, things changed. Yeah. So uh, now it's very easy. Cool, man. But I, I actually want to get back into it. Yeah. It's a lot easier. Yes. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to get back to my day job, opening windows. <laughs> Can you believe this? Ciao. That's also a friend of mine. His name is Brian. I'll introduce you to him later. Ciao. I'll try and introduce you to Bob's daughter, Debbie. Debbie, can I introduce you to my friends? Hello. Okay, cool. This is the lovely Debbie. Ah, you, grumpy old regards. Bob who doesn't want to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Debbie does beautiful <laughs> shots of roses. They're all from my garden and they are heritage roses that I've captured and carved and hopefully they'll be timelessly stored there with all the in in insects That's good. staying there forever and spreading the roses. No worries. Yeah, I like that actually. It's very cool. Thank you for sharing all your story. Great. Cool. You're the best. Cheers. Bye.
I've got some hipsters walking past. Hi, sir. Hey, bro. Are you staying around for a bit? No, we're leaving today. Do you want to listen to a really amazing woman by the name of Joanne Cooper? We have the show now. Oh, so cool, really? Yeah, yeah. Enjoy it, bro. Cool, man. All the best. I'm going to head up to Joanne's show quick. Capture some of the amazing. Let's see how many people got there. Hi, ladies. Why are you leaving her show? No, 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 no. I'm walking around. I only got an hour. Man. You're walking out on her? No, I don't want to be there. Yeah, but you just were attracted by the noise. That's beautiful, eh? Joanne Cooper. Okay. Ciao. How's it, man? Just doing a quick video of Joanne. I'll be out now. Sweet. This guy's pretty hot. There's a lot of people that came. So everybody knows what's happening with the rhinos in this country, being completely decimated by poachers. But I think what people don't realize is that if nothing is done, if nothing changes, the rhinos are going to be extinct in the next 25 years. And our government is busy sitting on the fence trying to decide whether to legalize the trade in rhino horn. And the reason that they're doing this is that they're sitting on a stockpile estimated at a billion rand, a billion dollars, sorry. And, you know, wouldn't it be nice to be able to sell that rhino horn and get that billion dollars? <clears throat> and they're also being pressurized by some pretty powerful rhino farmers. So this is a free appeal to our government to do something about the rhino. And it's called Hay Government. in the boot of my car. I went to Google and went like search for a locksmith nearby. I found some guy. He then went and broke into my car. Can you believe it? And I got my keys back. My keys are in the pockets and all he needs is 200 bucks. So that is pretty sweet. Thanks guys for hooking me up. Picasso with some, what is it? Coffee, hey? Baristas. Yes, you. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, bro. You don't have to ask them because they're working here. <laughs> so they make some great Roast coffees. Them. If you do the snap scan, you get your coffees cheaper. Like one rand a coffee. Don't tell anybody. Ciao. Uh, so I met Joanne Cooper. She was uh, amazing. Um, I carried her speaker and got her set up on her stand. I hope to get you as a client, by the way. Uh, you have a really cool political message in that Rhino song. It really spoke to me, and I can get you to sing that to the ANC. So let's do that, or even with the DA. Hey, but don't we want to F the ANC? Weird. EFF, DA, ANC. Anyways, we've got some political stuff coming up, but how cool is this? Um, I was standing outside trying to get someone to come into Joanne's um, theatre production when she did her music. And at the end of the day, I got a group of six beautiful people and one thought. Um, and this is the thought. Hey bro, thank you so Hi. much for uh, meeting up with me and coming up to me just now. No, it's a pleasure. I yeah. just want to say I uh, really appreciate you telling me about uh, Joanne uh, Cooper and I, I think she was great. Cool. I couldn't have wanted to see a better show. I in actual fact looked on the program and when she was no longer being going to show, yeah. um, we decided to go and make a booking somewhere else. And then I sat there and watched her, and we had to leave slightly earlier, but it was great. I, I can recommend her to anybody and everybody. Wow. Thanks so much. Eh? Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Oh, that's a pleasure. It's not Thank a thorny you. message at all. Well, I certainly hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. That's a pleasure. Thanks very much. For yeah. 
Yeah, you read right. That's street cred. You know what, Jay? I'm going down the stairs. I decided to wear my hat today because of the sun. It's a really bright sun, right? So uh, I wore my hat, and now I'm just going down the stairs. I get to see a guy called Jermaine, and he knows Hardy, and he knows Mandla, guys I worked with ages ago. Ages. Yo. I spoke to you, to you uh, recently, right? Um, but because I've got a comedian here, you can make a joke. I can try and make a joke. I'm not very good at jokes. I'm a bad comedian. That's why I'm here at the Graham Sun Festival handing out flyers. Go see this show. Really. Yeah. Well, it's too late. By the time you see this, the shows are finished. Uh, this will be aired tomorrow. Yes, the shows will be done. I'll be driving home to Joburg. Well, that's a, that's a bit of a joke. It's a bit of a joke. Well, it's, uh, Thanks for your a long drive. Thanks, Bert. Good luck with I'll the see you, uh, Forrester. Video. Cheers. Well, so, what were you actually saying to Mark Lottering that he laughed so much? I can't remember. That guy seems cool. You hear that? Hmm? Who is that guy? No idea. It's just uh, That's okay. see me and they shout out my name and I give them the thumbs up. I say, Forrester! <laughs> yes, and then I, I'll even stand here and talk to the phone. I, I hope this thing's recording, otherwise I'm just like talking to your phone and that's quite sad. Well, at least we're or... talking to each other, right? Yes, it's wonderful. It's good time. So what happened? Like, Mark, I've got a photo of you, Mark Lottering, you whispering in his ear, he's patting himself. I, I have no idea. It was a wonderful moment. Okay. Good times. I'm glad. We had a digital moment now. We had. This is history. Yeah, thanks, Chris. You're this right. is a, a million YouTube hits, guaranteed. Well, if I'm going to tag you. Cool. Awesome. Cheers. Let us. Keep up, bro. Cheers. So, you get to meet Chris. This pretty crazy ass. Can you believe it? Like, what I'm going to talk about now is that... Oh, yeah, street cred. So, street cred is going to come... is in PE. So, you must check them out in Green Acres Mall. They're going to be in Green Acres Mall. This lady looks pretty hot. Hi, how's it? Can I say hello to you? Yes. My name's Mark. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, I saw someone filming you. He's talking. Does he work for you? Yeah. It's awesome. Excuse me. <laughs> He's your people. Yes. So, why are you in Grahamstown? What are you doing? Um, I actually came to visit. Fresh from Grahamstown. Nice. Yes, I'm visiting them in PE and we just go. Awesome. Thanks very much. That's so cool. <laughs> cool. Well, enjoy the rest of the day. Watch out for that guy. Yeah? <laughs> so, end of the story, right? Is that uh, a street cred is going to be in Greenacres Mall, and at the end of the day, I'm trying to set up a street cred um, skate park. I thought you guys were in the line. My bad. Where's the line? That side. They keep changing where the line is. Sorry for scaring you off there, bro. Shame. The line's this side now. It's weird, eh? <laughs> okay, so Street Cred is gonna help me create a skate park in Grahamstown. And it'll be drug free, alcohol free, I can't believe it. Over. This lady is 93. Um, I met her on an adventure up some stairs. Can you believe it? Like, what? what my, my whole aim in life is to be remembered. And I think this lady has definitely going to be remembered every single day of the week. Hey. Hey, she's going to give it to the guys. Are you going to come to my room now? Yeah? How are you doing? Are you okay? Excavator. His name is Mr. Shad. You can remember him as Martini. Martini? Yeah, he's Mr. T. Where, what are you doing for today? Um, with my wife on her printing exhibition. What printing? Printing. Printing. Printmaking. Yeah. Just here, yeah. Can we go there? Yes. Cool, come with me. Is there other level? Yeah, this level. Sorry guys. Sorry officers. Cool, we're gonna go in here. Is it okay if I pull you? Come through. Okay, so we're in the corner down there. So when we got introduced earlier, I didn't get your name. My name is Delcy. Delcy. Harper. Harper. And I mean, no. We're going to write here. We're in South Africa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Karen. Okay. Cool. Let's go here. Okay. I want to meet your wife. Yeah, she's just here. Yeah. But good to meet you. So you're Mrs. Harper. I'm Darcy Harper. Darcy Harper. Good to meet you. And <laughs> I live in a just, just moved in. Everybody done for I don't think straight at the moment. Okay. Yeah, this is hilarious. Cool. <laughs> Come here, love. Yeah. Amy? Don't go. Uh, don't go. She's This is my wife. This is Amy, who's married to, to Mark. Hello. It's Amy here. My name is Lucy. Hi. Amy belongs to Mark. They're confusing you. Oh! <laughs> it's all our fault. When you can't call it to me. We must now yeah. make a very special point. Can I put the card? I have the card. No, you haven't got the card to me. We will give you a card, Grand. Okay. okay. I'll give you a card of my address. Okay. And you must come and visit me. I've just moved in okay. to. Um, Port yeah. Alfred. What do you call it? Port Elizabeth. Cool. We're yeah. moving into Port Alfred soon. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a very nice place to move into. You get to see me again, my friend. Oh. <laughs> I won't let you get away. Good, I'm glad. So this is Amy. Hi. Okay, so she's got an, a piece of art here. She yes. studied at Rhodes. Rhodes? Yes. Oh. Good I didn't study anywhere. I was sent overseas. And um, the war broke out and I was sent overseas to uh, what you would know what it was. Mm -hmm. A wonderful place. To be a lady. That's funny, isn't it? I know. And I didn't do the work, but I've done a lot of hard work. Yes. People and organizations. But I can't say that I've got any letters behind my name. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Where were you sent overseas? From well, my parents were from overseas, and I was born in Cape Town. Cape Town. And Let's where get you out of the sun. In 1923. We get you out of the sun. Give me a card. Yes, we get you out of the sun, though. Yes. I can sit in the sun all afternoon. This is my carer. Yeah, orange. Orange. Yeah. In the world of caring. I don't tell there's other two downstairs. Yes, yes. Yes, but I'm just a friend. Okay, I yes. will go and tell them and you can sit up there. You tell me when they're ready. No, no okay. I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take you home with us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just moved into. Um, Port Elizabeth. That's where I have seven years. Okay. Sometimes I can We came over to have a look at where I lived and um, for a short time with my first husband. Did you live in Grandstown? It came over to Grandstown. Yes, Grandstown. And uh, He was where my house was. I couldn't believe that it, uh, it looks like it does look now. It's exactly the same. Well, no, it's not exactly the same. <laughs> they, they, they've done all sorts of things to it, like they have them all, all over the place now. Yeah. They've they, 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 they reversed. Yeah. And um, you can say it was crazy. It was crazy. And it was crazy. <laughs> and there you know, I've gone there and I'm really happy. And my, my second husband, and we married in 1983. Wow. I think it was a lot of sex. Complete strangers, but yeah, I have to tell you my story. 
Life story. <laughs> We're not strangers, you're friends. Corin's going to come back now, okay? Well, I hope she does. She will. Mm. Yes, I think she does. Sure. We're not cornering you. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but when I, when I saw you first, I just saw how uh, proper you looked. Even though someone's pushing you around, you're still proper. And I love that about you. You're still a lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, I come from a doggy family. Do you people have dogs? Yes. yes Great Danes. We all had dogs. Beagles. We just got two. Uh, Mummy is a. I just said grey gold. It's not a grey gold. It simply sounds like that. Um, oh dear, for goodness sake. Anyway, she's a big dog. Wow. I can tell you this dog. I went to see him this one day. From, Porters with he opened the doors, and that, that dog jumped without the label, without getting any help from anything on the ground or just by taking his muscles, jumped this muscle bit thing on my left. Wow, and that's so special. Me over, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. Oh, wow. Doggy doggy that's gorgeous. Yes, and, and she just had pups. Oh. She unfortunately arrived then. The other two are uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, 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 so, and then I, I made friends. Yeah, yeah, you I have. Made friends. <laughs> yes. You really just come to see me in my home. I give you the telephone number. Cool. Oh. That's okay. Well, oh, my, my wife's uh, father lives in PE in Walmer, in Port Elizabeth in Walmer. Who do you live? My uh, wife's father, Sean Darlow, he lives in PE, Port Elizabeth. Oh, he's living there. He uh, is now. Yeah. But you say? My dad. Yes, he did live there. He's still living there. Oh, he's still living there. Mm -hmm. Most of my, my dad's side of the family lives in PE. Really? Mm -hmm. And they had a, a farm at Patterson. Have you ever been to Patterson? What for? What was that for? Where was that? I'm not sure. I visited it once a long time ago. So they all Everything grew up was in a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then they moved from the farm to Port Elizabeth, the whole family. Yeah, yeah it's very easy to have done. Yeah. Yeah. I said it used to be so popular and then no one stops over anymore to really do much business with them so they needed to move. Very mm. interesting. Um so I want your telephone number. <laughs> I see Corin's coming back now. Yeah. She's had my chair. <laughs> cool. Are you waiting for me? Thank you for your time, Graham. You're amazing. Thank we'll you see you around. Help. Okay. Thank you for coming to visit us. <coughs> so nice to meet you. We've got you friends. I think we'll come and pop in for tea or coffee one day. I think yes, so. something else it doesn't matter. We'll just talk about that. It's an old brown sherry, eh? Yes, <laughs> she likes sherry. That's sherry. Thank you for coming. <laughs> this does. Thank you. Right, I've got a job. So now we're on our way to watch uh, Lurie Hanger. The, the play is was basically not a play, it's more of like a monologue. Um, one woman show called Unveil. And it's come all the way from the UK. The writer is from Chicago. Um, it's going to be a beautiful play. Have fun. Thank you so much. And check these guys, this is buzzing. How cool is that? Got some really amazing 
actual food on the table here. And then this guy's got drinks. Have a good time. I love you, Graham Sound. So we're eating our food. I'm having it. Uh, I have an hour in my light. Uh, that's the high idea. And this is the birthday girl. She, I didn't ask her to film her, so I gotta wait. Uh, happy birthday, comment. So I'm heading into the kitchen bedroom. Boys. Toilets today. Really quite cool, very, very clean, very high. Obviously, no little kids here. Is, I've had quite an emotional day today. Um, it was really quite fun, but. Yeah, so, the lady in the show um, that I swore at you, uh, you do need to know the context that was behind that. So, I'd love to meet with you. Uh, you see the blog, uh, as I knew. Check it out, as I knew.me. You can get my contact details. You'll get my phone number there too, uh, but I'd love to speak to you. Um, I'm about to watch Amy getting hypnotized. I'm gonna be mesmerized. Thanks, Ted, for Good that we've got two extra tickets to the show for Dr. Steph. Miles and Amy welcome him. Um, yeah, how cool is that? I'll be back right now, bro. I'll be back right now. I'll be back right now. We're so getting ready for the adult show. It's quite cool. Hey, it's okay. Uh, so keep what, keep it. I'm coming back. How are you doing it for dinner again? Okay. What? Fine, it's fine. Alright. Ready? Let it go. We'll see. speak six languages fluently. Put your hands together for your master hypnotist, <laughs> Steph. such a show it's an adventure for me it's a it's a risk for me and I'll talk a lot about risk a little later in the show but uh, it's also a challenge for me it's a tata my chance is this gonna work is it not I separate myself from other hypnotists I'm not saying I'm better I'm different in that I do a show in which I don't do a test for who can be hypnotized out in the audience first come through guys you're late what do we do with late people yeah. 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 Show your hands if you've got some spare seats around you guys. 
shift up to the side if you would, there, find the speed chair, or sit on the stairs right at the back there. Okay, cool. So, so tonight, I don't know if this is going to work or not, and I hedge my bets. I take my chances on only a few people who volunteer to come up here onto the stage. I don't choose you guys, you're going to choose yourselves. Now, what does it take to be hypnotized or not to be hypnotized? Firstly, everyone can be hypnotized if they want to be hypnotized. If anyone holds back in any way, of course it's not going to work. It's going to be a complete failure and we have no show. But that never happens. Because <laughs> kind of I know what I'm doing. <laughs> What's great about the show is people's reactions. Different reactions from different people and quite interesting things come out. Now, what is hypnosis? I get asked a lot. Hi, nice to see you. So nice to see you with your clothes on. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, you look gorgeous tonight. Your wife looks pretty good too. <laughs> so, uh, what is hypnosis? I get asked a lot in the street. People say, saw your show, absolutely fascinating. What happens up there on the stage? And the, and the answer is, I don't know. In fact, none of us actually know what hypnosis is. Because, of course, we can't put a probe right into the brain and see what's happening at any moment. We can do CT scans, we can do MRI scans, we can do that kind of thing, but we haven't quite pinpointed exactly what happens when people go into this thing called hypnosis, which I like to call an induced trance, okay? So a trance in which we put people, I put people into, and then suggestions become very, um, uh, how would you say, um, uh, acceptable, yeah? So, uh, so hypnosis is not a sleep state. When I say sleep to people, they're actually not asleep. They go into this kind of very switched off, relaxed, kind of, a, how do you say, unconscious states, but they're not unconscious. They're also not conscious, they're not awake. Um, my analogy of, of hypnosis is, you know when you wake up in the middle of the night and your body goes, I really need a piss. <laughs> and your mind says, I'm so fucking tired, no. <laughs> Take me for a piss. No! <laughs> That's hypnosis. Right. Just a quick example, I'm not, going to, uh, I'm not going to hypnotize anybody, but if everyone could just put their right hands in the air, please, without looking at my ass, please, okay? Uh, <laughs> wave at me there. Hello, everybody. Come on, guys, get some life. And uh, just make a little sign of my cooking, if you would. No, that's it. And if you don't mind, just look into the little circle, look at me. I'm looking at you. Cool. And just raise it up, please, one more time. And I'll just place it right here onto your chin. Now you see, folks, uh, I should put you all, because this would be your chin, you see? <laughs> Give yourselves a big clap, guys. <laughs> Suggestion. I gave you guys, I got you on my side, and I got you to obviously follow my advice. Nice. Love it. Okay, so if you intend to come up here on the stage, which usually a lot of people want to be up here, um, you must please be older than 18 years old. If you're not, you shouldn't even be at the adults only show. Uh, secondly, if you are in good mental health, please, okay? So. <laughs> I was going to say, anyone who's laughing now, don't come up, but like, <laughs> oh shit, it's getting worse. <laughs> you got the like Mr. Bean laugh, the guy next to you, <laughs> not that <laughs> no. And finally, if you have had more than five or six alcoholic drinks, and I promise you that was my first alcoholic, <laughs> for the night. Um, if you uh, have had more than five or six alcoholic drinks, please, you don't need to be up on the stage, right? <laughs> you keep acting pretty damn funny already, so... Oh yeah, schizophrenics, please. People with multiple personality disorder. Please, neither of you come up. Okay. Uh, no, uh, obsessive compulsives. Um, you could come up several times, come up. Uh, uh, all right. Without further ado, you know who you are. There's one chance. Let's go. Let's pull these chairs. Get them a new trick. Clap it up.
We met uh, yesterday morning, the morning before, in the city reading the newspaper. She came and flirted. Oh, he chatted with me. On the show. You're right. You're nervous. You're apprehensive. I'm excited. Uh huh. How are you feeling? Yeah. You're a great artist. If you would like to see something special, go and have a look in the in the. Uh... The Steve Beaker uh, art room. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Oh, oh my goodness! This is we're... your pants. So this is a chance. <laughs> uh, we're part of the Printing Girls, so we're in Steve Beaker. Come see our art. Super cool. Hi. Hi there. Where are you from? I'm from Cape Town, UCT. Wow. I'm also from Cape Town. How's it, bro? Where are you from? Um, Cape Town. Um... Nice. <laughs> Brother, where are you from? Cape Town. Nice. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? Zimbabwe. Yeah. 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 How's it? Where are you from? Germany. Okay, I'll speak slowly for you, alright? Watch <laughs> <laughs> your pockets, Chip. Where are you from? Cape Town. Cool. Where are you from? Slovakia. Slovakia? Yeah. 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 I've been paragliding in Slovakia. Very, very nice place. Where are you from? Joburg. Oh, you're a student. <laughs> Hi, where are you from? From the lack of show man. <laughs> United States. Yeah, all right. <laughs> where are you from? The South Florida. South Florida. Okay, that's cool. Where are you, where are you from, guys? Paul Elizabeth. I'm from Belarus. Belarus, okay, so like, do you guys know each other? Yeah. Please swap places with USA, alright, there you go. <laughs> Anyone else sitting next to somebody that they know? Anyone else? Nobody else knows each other. You two know each other? That's cool. Uh, how well do you know each other? Do you never kiss her? <laughs> you will. <laughs> I prefer people to sit next to somebody that they don't know. It's nice like that. Okay, guys. First things first. Relax. Don't stress and don't worry because this is an adults only show. The only difference between all age and show is you've heard me swearing already. I like to swear. I think some words are part of our vocabulary. And so I created long ago an adults only show. It just means you can let go a little bit. Okay? So that's it. So that's the only difference. Don't worry, the booby will stay in the bra, they won't do you the tea, they won't take all that, okay? So a lot of people are stressed. About the hypnosis, this will work for you if you want it to work for you. Every one of you, of course, has come up here with the intention of something great happening to you, and it will be great. I pride myself on doing a show in which you will be heightened, not put down. I don't want that. I don't want you to look like a football, I want you to look like a superstar. Okay? <laughs> football, football means... Um, <laughs> How would you say football in America? Football. <laughs> so that's that's what it's about. If I see that this is not working for you folks, I will ask you to return to your seats in the audience. Whatever you do, don't stand up by your own accord and think, oh, okay, this is not for me, and off you go. Okay? I will see if it's not working for you. Of course, you don't want to be the only one who it doesn't work for, and it should be 100% sure tonight. So relax yourselves. You don't need to worry about anything. I'd like you all just to stop by a start by uncrossing your legs for me, please. One hand on each knee for me, please. Yeah, that's cool. Your only knee, please, my boo. We're going to play some super relaxing music, which is going to start now, especially engineered music. Enjoy it, listen to it, get into it. I want you to start by taking a deep breath in and out. It's a very special one way street between yourselves and me. You're going to enjoy the experience immensely. Now I want you in this time, in these seconds, to think about something you'd like to change in your life for the better. Because my honor for you bringing yourselves up here onto the stage is I'm going to give you the gift of change. I'm going to give you something that you can change in your life. Like more than one thing. I want you to start to think of a perfect image of yourself. You're going to think of yourself as you'd most like to be. It is that you want to stop smoking, or stop biting your nails, get rid of a fear, a phobia. You want to be more confident, more self-assured, calmer. Whatever it is that you'd like to change in your life, I'm going to do that for you today. And it's going to stay confidential. Right now, just take deep breaths in and out and relax. Think about yourself. Just focus on yourself. Now, folks, what you're going to see here is amazing. And it's pretty quick. And I'll ask you, please, to give these people the respect that they deserve by being completely silent for just a few minutes, three or five minutes max. 
if we start the show on it. Tell you when that is, and you can make a lot of noise and enjoy yourselves. This is a crucial, very great moment for these people, please. Taking deep breaths in and out, listening to the music, and of course, listening to the sound of my voice. I'd like you all to focus your attention on me right now. You can open your eyes if they're closed, and look at me for a moment as I ask you to put your hands together like this. Join your wrists and your elbows, please, and bring your hands up real close to your faces. Now I want you to bring your hands up close to your face and I want you to stare only at your fingers and your hands right now. I want you to stop looking at me or anybody else and I want you to look only at your fingers and your hands. As you do that, I want you to notice how your fingers and hands are starting to grab each other very, very tightly. You notice that there's a kind of red and white between your fingers. Your fingers have now gripped each other so tightly that you feel like there's a kind of invisible super glue that's joined your fingers together. Your fingers are now so tightly locked together that no matter how hard you try, you cannot bring them apart. You stare in amazement and your fingers are completely and totally joined together. It's kind of curious, kind of strange. Your own fingers are so tightly locked together that they cannot come apart. And you really try and bring them apart, but the more you try, the more tightly locked together they become. You really try now, but your hands cannot come apart. They seem completely and totally locked together. Now stop trying to bring them apart. Relax your fingers, relax your wrists, your elbows and your arms. And please close your eyes. And as you do that, forget completely about your fingers and your hands as you relax them and feel them just going down into a very deep state of relaxation. I want you to roll your eyeballs up into the very top of your head now and think of the word sleep written up above the very top of your brain. And as you see the word sleep, so you picture yourself slowly taking deep breaths in and out and you will find yourself in your own time going down, down into a very deep state of relaxation into a very deep state of sleep. It's okay for you to rest on the person next to you. It's okay for you to slump right down. Rolling your eyeballs up into the top of your head, still thinking of that word sleep. Still rolling your eyeballs up into the top of your head. You may or may not have noticed that you find it very difficult to take deep breaths in and out. And as your body becomes completely and totally filled with jelly, and as every muscle, joint, and ligament in your body becomes completely loose, limp, and relaxed, so you are still concentrating and trying to roll your eyeballs up and still trying to picture that word sleep as you're getting more and more tired and you're going down into down deeper and deeper states of relaxation. In fact, you are now so tired feeling so good that all you want to do is actually be put down to sleep. And I'm going to come and help you with that in a few moments. And as I come around and touch you gently on the forehead, I will touch you each individually and say the words sleep to you. And as you feel my touch on your shoulder or on your head, and I say the words sleep to you, your body will slump down into the deepest state of relaxation, into the lowest form of sleep as you go down deeper and deeper. From now on you all going to become great friends so it's okay to rest on one another as you fall asleep. While I'm coming around and speaking to each of you individually, the rest of you are still rolling your eyeballs up into the top of your head and still thinking of that word sleep over and over in your minds. Now I'm coming around in no particular order as I come around and speak to you. Rolling your eyeballs up into the top of your head, let yourself go and now sink it down, sleep completely and totally relax. That's okay, stay there. Your hands and your feet are loose, you believe me, that's okay. Sleep, relaxing yourself there, rest yourself there, that's super. Taking a deep breath in, that's awesome. You know, you're going there, sinking now down, let yourself go sleep completely and totally. Deep down to sleep. Your hands and your feet are loose, limp and heavy. Rolling your eyeballs up into the top of your head, sleep completely deep down to sleep. Rolling your eyeballs up into the top of your head, let yourself go sleep completely. 
you to protect me. I must slip down and up. Your hands and your feet are loose. You look them completely in. Rolling yourself up into the top of your head. Slay. Slay completely and totally loose. You look them deep down into sleep. Every muscle joint and ligament to loose. You look them in the you are touching your mind, you are sinking down deeper and deeper into a deeper state of relaxation. Every muscle joint and ligament completely and totally relaxing. Let yourself grow through the two lines. Sleep. Cool, rest yourself there, I've got you. Every muscle joint and ligament completely and totally relaxed. The rest of you still working your eyeballs out, still thinking that word sleep as you go down even deeper. Three, two, one, sleep. Rest yourself there, that's great. Your hands and your feet are loose, slow and heavy. Sleep completely, totally relaxed. You feel absolutely awesome as you're sinking down into deeper and deeper states of relaxation. Sleep. Your hands and your feet are loose, slow and heavy. Rolling your elbows up into the top of your head, let yourself sink right down. Sleep, that's great. Rest yourself there, awesome. And sleep. Good man, it's deep down to sleep. Every muscle joint and ligament sinking down. Rest your Sleep. Your hands and your feet are loose. You love your hand, baby. Sleep. You can rest yourself there. That's cool. Loose, love your hands. Completely and totally relaxed. Now I want you to. <laughs> My girlfriend wouldn't like this. I can see that. Uh, how did this happen? I want you to try as hard as you can to try and stand up. I want you to... <laughs> There's no way, huh? Look at your arm. I look like Michael Jackson. Now <laughs> relax you. Close your eyes, sleep completely and totally deep down. Just close your eyes and sleep completely and totally deep down. I was a brew, what the hell? Some gay ass shit, man. <laughs> it's some gay ass shit, man. What do you mean? What the hell, man? Not that you're sure. I don't know, man. There's some woman stuck onto you, and here there's some young guys stuck onto you. 
No, I felt the grab there just now. <laughs> Wait, you'll feel the grab just now. Hi, hi, lady, speak to me. <laughs> your feet, you know, look down at your arm here. This one's also stuck in this position. What the hell? How did that happen? Hi, Slovakia, how are you doing? She's so comfortable. She's very nice. Oh, this is a bit of female love there. Yes. Um, I want you to try and lift your head as hard as you can. Okay, that's fine. Relax. Uh oh, how's it really? You don't look so very comfy there. No, my leg is stuck. <laughs> look at your hand. Relax yourself, just relax for a moment. I'll come to you in a moment. You're looking a bit down there. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, you you want to you get loose? Yeah. Oh, just give me a few seconds. Okay, I'll come to you now. Relax and sleep. 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 Relax yourself. Three, two, one. Sleep. Sleep. Sinking down deeper and deeper into the deepest state of relaxation. Completely, totally deep. How's it, my brother? Yeah. Yeah. Very heavy at the moment. No, I can tell. I can tell. But if you think you've got it heavy, you should see what's going on here at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, How are you doing? My arms are open. Yeah, no, your arms are open. Something's very wrong. Hello, you can speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? I can tell you stuff. Wow. But you don't have it as bad as these girls, how is it? <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Well, I'm going to sort you girls out in a moment. Hi, girls. It looks like you're getting to become quite close friends. Um, involuntarily, you don't even want to be here, do you? My fingers are cold. Your fingers are cold. My fingers. Yeah, it's fine. I'll sort you girls out. Just relax. Sleep completely, totally sleep. Completely, totally deep down to sleep. Sleep. Every muscle joint to the Sleep. Deep down to sleep. From the top of your head down to where it tips of your toes. Sleep. Every muscle, joint, and ligament of every one of you be out touching you or not is sinking down deeper and deeper. Every muscle, joint, and ligament getting deeper and deeper into the most wonderful loose state of sleep. You are feeling loose from the top of your head down to the very tips of your toes. And you are one of those people who really loves to be first and you hate being last. So when I awaken every one of you in a moment, you are going to move as quickly as you can to move your chain slightly back from where it is right now. You will keep it in the long straight line that it's in and you will join the other people nice and close together. But you will want to move your chain slightly back because you believe you are a bit forward on the stage. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, this is where the show begins. It's like we've got a 100% success rate here. It's awesome. Every one of these people are in a very, very deep state, which is awesome. And uh, it looks like we don't have to send anybody off, which is just top. Uh, You, you were there the part that you were like the highlight of the show. I don't want to tell you that. Watch the video. Yeah. Watch the video. Yeah. <laughs> the Afrikaans part. You remember it? Don't worry about it, man. It's not embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. <coughs> yeah, no, it wasn't embarrassing. No, you didn't embarrass yourself. It's funny what you did. Yeah. And I was like, come with you. Someone stop and use a schoolboy. And then I was gone again. So you like pushing it out of me? No. Because you got a punch and you were like, I'm going to knock it in the side of the dog. No. Like, no. Like, no. Like, no. Like, no. Like, no. Like, no. Cool. Let's go. It's a part that I think it was the second one, and they were like, You guys are rock stars. And all started getting up and playing. And you're like, You're like, Get one And you're like, Hey, dude. Hey, bro. Thanks for your help tonight, eh? It was very good to meet you. All the best, eh? Have a good fest. All the best, bro. Cool. Good job, man. You guys rock. Here's my card. I'll get you. No, no, that's not. That's mine. That's not mine. Are you um? Are you filming for that other guy? No, who are you? Oh, filming it for Woo. you. Here you go. Were you allowed to film? Yeah. Yes, I could. Um.
Yes, yeah, so I'll definitely get you the film, man. Eh? Eh? I'll get it. Man, I know, I saw it myself a million times. I know, I know. 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 I know, I um, and being an inspiration to all the lovely people that I've met and who have been a part of my journey this fest. Uh, I really have enjoyed your company um, from Mr. Chiquila keeping us safe to my new like son Divian and um, it's pretty cool to meet you bro. Like, uh, don't ever underestimate yourself. Okay, I'll definitely be in touch you guys are, are really cool. I'm hoping to have a good security detail, Mr. Chiquila. You know me too well. Um, thank you that we could have been honest in the beginning about where we stand and who we are as people. Everyone was really good. Yeah, I had a bit of a meltdown today. Um, to be honest, I was part of uh, a play where I literally thought there was a riot going on outside. And then the fireworks and the festival went off, um, which I've got a huge problem with. You know, in this day and age, we're still using rockets that need to use gunpowder. I crapped myself thinking that there was an angry mob. I spoke to the uh, lead performer on Unveiled about it. I was weeping, Oscar, weeping. Because I thought there was toy toys going on outside, gunshots, and then they would come into our room and kill us. Like, we need to understand that it could be a reality, although I, I don't ever think it will be a reality. But me coming from the Animal Farm play, thank you very much, Lali, you're amazing. Your production is second to none. It was amazing. And I thank you very much for letting me be a part of your team. But going um, to Unveiled afterwards and sitting there, I, I do apologize to the, the, the lady from the island, Irish uh, performer. It, I had a real emotion in that play. I wasn't messing around. Okay. Um, so if you're watching this, please get hold of me. I'd love to have a cup of tea or a pint. Uh, I do drink Guinness, if you do, um, but I can just drink water, colour it green. Um, but yeah, at the end of it all, we need to realise that anything is possible on both extremes. From complete love to complete hatred. And what sits in the middle of us is the concept of love. Ellen DeGeneres puts it well, she says, be kind to one another. And I think that's great. And the epitome of that is as I knew it, okay? Um, in a minute or two, I'm going to join my um, beautiful family and friends for a bit of tea, a bit of, a bit of coffee or whatever, a marula. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not a know at all. It's all about life. Follow me on asiknew.me for my blog. 